Meru Governor Peter Munya has threatened to take a different political course if youth continue disrupting his political rallies in that county. Munya accuses his competitors in Jubilee of using the provincial administration to plan the disruptions with the aim of painting him as unpopular. Kennedy Murethi reports from Meru. For the second day, Meru Governor Peter Munya camped in the Imenti area, campaigning for his re-election in the August duel. He was welcomed in the Gedongo area of Imenti Central constituency. The rally in one of the regions perceived to be a Senator Kiraito Murongi stronghold was significant as he sought to show he was making inroads. The rally also came a day after youth tried to disrupt his meeting in Imenti South where police were forced to shoot in the air to disperse them. Munya accuses his political rivals of planning the chaos. Because enough is enough. I am tired of being followed by administrators being harassed every day, my youth being arrested for nothing. When my meetings are being disrupted, nobody is arrested. I am increasingly getting tired. Now I see here what I'm foot up on them. Me 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 go na misisi up on them. Me go na misisi me wana. Ndio wengine watusikie hivi temperature inapanda mara moja. Wacha ipande hata kama ni kupasuka ipasu. Lakini sisi hatubabaiki. Kura ni haki ya kila mtu na ile mtu mwenyewe ndiye anajua pale ataipeleka. Sisi ni watu wa kuuza manifesto sio watu wa kusema neno mingi. Youth tried yet again to disrupt the rally as Munya was addressing the crowd. Police were forced to use tear gas canisters to disperse the youths who seemed to have been programmed. If they continue with this business of using state functionaries to harass my people in mail and disrupt my meetings, I will rethink my stand on this politics. Mambo ya uchokosi, tusemeka kando. Hakuna kuchokosa mwingine na hakuna kuleta vitina. The PNU team has also taken issue with leaders within Jubilee whom they have accused of frustrating the party's efforts by putting roadblocks on its way in the form of court cases. A notice had been put in the newspapers denouncing Munya as the party leader and the entire group of officials. The notice said that former president Mwai Kibaki was still the bona fide party leader. Hapo huko na wakili wawili. Ni Manyara na Mheshimiwa Munya. Unafikiria tunaweza kushinda na wao watu kweli? Wameweka kesi 15 na hakuna kesi moja wamewahi kutoshinda. Governor Munya says he is unfazed by the planned violence that is now characterizing his meetings, insisting that it is his track record that will give him re-election in the August elections. Kennedy Muredi, NTV in Meru County.